Hi, this is Misha, and we're back with the Romanian AES-10B, B as in Bravo, rifle, chambered for 7.62 by 39. We did a video a while back with this gun, but that was my oh-so um, interesting camera work. Now that I've got Jay here, I thought, kind of look at it again, take it to the range. And so you can see it better, and I can manipulate the gun. Talk about it. Because this is one that um, was on the market for several years, and then disappeared for several years, and just came back 2019. The AES-10B is built entirely in Romania by Kuger and it's imported into the USA by Century Arms International and it is a semi-automatic PM64 LMG which is the Romanian clone license copy of the Russian Soviet RPK. This is really the only true original pattern RPK to ever be imported because guns such as the Vepr, any of the, the Molot guns we've seen, they're actually not really the original pattern of RPK. Rather, they're based on the newer RPKs like the RPK-74M, RPK-201, RPK-203. The difference might seem minor, but think about it. Compare, say, the original AKM from the 60s, 70s to the current AK-74M, and you'll see that there are several small but important differences. Well, before we uh, go on, let's take this out to the range, and then we'll come back to the table. AES 10B first match. Good. AES 10B full throttle. Helps if I charge it. Mm -hmm. You're good. So there we have it out functioning. This is really the same basic design as the Wasser. It's the Mikhail Kalashnikov long stroke gas piston combined with a two lug rotating bolt. Basic AK pattern safety. Like the Wasser, it has an original Romanian receiver, original Romanian cold hammer forged and chrome lined barrel. But the difference, this is a 16 and a quarter heavy profile barrel and I said 16 and a quarter, I apologize. <laughs> Long day guys. This is not a 16 and a quarter like a Wasser. This is a 23 and a quarter longer heavy profile. And then the receiver Whereas a Wasser is 1.0, this is 1.5 millimeter. And it has these bulges in the trunnions, you see. The trunnion is thicker as well. Also, because of the barrel, we have a heavier, thicker lower handguard. And there's other differences we'll point out. But I'm going to set her back on its bipod. It's a relatively quick deploying pod that I'm going to stab myself with if I try to do it that way, so I'm not even going to try. Fits pretty tight, springs out with pretty good force, and then once it's out, you just rotate it down. And one unique feature to Romania, at least in the later production guns, they have these wing nuts on the legs to adjust the height. China also made a bipod similar to this. 
Another unique feature of Romanian later production, light machine guns, mostly those in 545, but we also have this folding carry handle. These are built from all new parts and should be serial matching. I say that because some people have reported non-matching numbers on some of the guns, but the majority seem to be serial matching. So I think the ones that came through not were frankly a mistake. This will feed from standard double stack AK magazines, as well as drums. In the military, they were commonly issued with either a 75 round drum or a 40 round box mag, but they could very easily use the standard 30 and even the compact 20 round mags that Romania had. This is all Romanian, except for the 922R parts. For example, the slant muzzle brake, which is on 14 by one threads. The Century trigger group, and the Century pistol grip. Also, the buttstock seems to be American. Some have claimed the wood comes over from Romania, but many others say it's American. And I can tell you, regardless of where the wood comes from, this is definitely put together here because if you notice, they use Phillips head screws for the sling swivel and for the butt plate and even for the tang and that's just not something Cougar I would think would do really the furniture is probably the biggest attraction there are, I have met a few people that actually like this slick light blonde look but I'd say 9 out of 10 would prefer the more oil-finished, laminate, military look. It has the ribbed top cover, which was used early on in uh, Romania. But then they would go to the slightly heavier, smooth top cover. But since this is a new production gun, I guess they went back to the ribbed. It also has the windage and elevation adjustable rear sight. And it has the standard scope rail on the side. And standard sling mount points. Interestingly, these are not shipping with cleaning rods, but if you get one from Atlantic, as well as maybe some other vendors, I'm not sure, they will install a rod for you because not only does it look right on an RPK, this is actually what helps the bipod latch. So without the rod, you have to latch on this little nipple here. So you really do need the cleaning rod for this gun. So why they're not including it is a little odd to me. The other potential downside to the AS-10B now in 2019 is the price point. These are going in the 13 to 1500 range which honestly does seem exorbitant because in the past they were well under a thousand. Of course, that was then, this is now. On the other hand, as I said in the beginning, this is a true semi-auto RPK import and there aren't many op options out there. Most of the RPKs you see are kit builds, so US receiver and even US barrel. This has the original foreign receiver and barrel. And to be fair, uh, <laughs> nice condition Romanian PM64 parts kits are easily bringing 500 without receiver or barrel. So by the time you add those parts, just in before assembly, you're probably in a kit build for close to a thousand. So it really isn't as bad as it seems. I just wish, and most people do, that they would use the original military furniture and why they're not including the rod is, is just bizarre. And of course, they're just shipping these with one mag pull, 30 round mag. But yeah, I just, this has been something that people have um, really been keen on. I think 
a part of it is just because we haven't seen them in about five years. Another part is there just wasn't much really interesting in January back at SHOT Show, and so this was kind of eye-catching. And I'm happy to report that it seems like RPKs are finally uh, kind of getting popular. i never forget, when I ordered my first AES-10B, I ordered it directly from Century, talked to my rep, ordered it, and he said, why do you want that? It's just a longer, heavier AK. And he just didn't get it. And what's funny is that guy was typically a big military collector. He liked HK. He loved the FAL. It's just he didn't understand the appeal of this gun. I've always had a thing for light machine guns, as does uh, Jay. It's just unique and interesting. And at least it is an authentic gun, and it is reliable. I mean, this gun was built to withstand tens of thousands of rounds in use as a light machine gun. So on a semi-auto form like this, being semi-auto only, no full auto, it should last a lifetime. And we know the Wasser, for example, typically lasts. And on the newer Wassers and the AS-10Bs, they've done a, be a better job with the park finish. It still is gonna have a few scuffs and scrapes, but nothing major. It's a little more even. The bolt is very smooth at least for a Romanian gun, it's smoother than it used to be. And instances of canted gas block and front sight seem to have gone way down to virtually nil these days. But yeah, we just wanted to go out to the range with this. We did a video a few months back shooting an older AES-10B paratrooper import from like 2009 or so. So if you're interested in what came a decade ago, you can check on the Romanian or AK playlist and find that. Any questions or comments, feel free uh, to leave them below and we'll do our best to answer them if we, <laughs> if we can. And if you could like, share, and subscribe, every bit helps. And if you'd really like to help support the channel, hopefully we can get out to the range more this spring whenever it dries out, please check out our Patreon page. This is Misha, and we will catch you very soon next time. AES-10B, last mag of the day.